Hey, I'm Faye and welcome to Figure It Out with Faye where I try to figure out life and right now I'm trying to figure out finances. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm here um, from editing this video. Um, I did a one take with um, my entire setup and the video was too long so I'm going to have to break it into three separate videos so the editing might be a little off. Um, I also noticed that I filmed in the wrong setting um, so the quality might not be the greatest for the first couple of videos um, and I'm also thinking about getting a mat to cover this because I um, see on my camera settings that there's some noise trying to pick up the texture of this table. Um, so I'll try to fix that in the future. So if you guys can just bear with me while I um, figure out the whole filming side of things. Um, the first video is just going to be going over my budgeting binder. Um, part two will be going through my cash envelope binders. And then part three will be the actual cash stuffing. So I hope to see you in the next couple videos as well. Thanks. Hey, I'm Faye and welcome to my channel um, where I am trying to spend this year figuring out my entire life. And I figured since my first paycheck of 2023 um, was going to be pretty late into January that I would just start with finance because my finances are a hot mess express. I never learned to do them as a kid. Um, and now as an almost 32 year old, it's, it's, it's a lot. So, um, last weekend I made a finance book so I will walk you through what I've done so far and then I'm going to try the cash envelope system so I did order some binders um, and I guess I'll walk you through what I have so far and um, we'll see how that progresses um, I don't know what's going to work, what's not going to work. Um, I did make my own envelopes. Um, so I will give you uh, the rundown. So this is my finance binder. It used to be my wedding planner binder, but we canceled our wedding three times. So now it's the finance binder. Um, I made everything, everything that's in this binder I already had. So I didn't have to spend any money there. Um, but I will link everything that I did buy um, in the description below. So this is my binder. Um, I do have my annual finance and I guess overall goals um, in here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So my big goal for this year is to pay off all of my credit card debt. Um, I didn't realize how much I actually had until I calculated that out, but I think I'll do that in another video. Um, but if I can just pay off as much as possible this year, I think that's a step in the right direction. Um, I want to cancel two of my credit cards once they're paid off. Um, one of them is my highest interest rate and the Barclays card. Um, it's an Old Navy card and I don't, the only thing I really buy from Old Navy is like leggings and jeans and I don't do that often. So I might cancel that one. Um, I did want to set up a second income. Um, right now, um, I'm working as a nurse, um, but I don't make that much as a nurse because I work for a nonprofit. Um, but I love my job, so I'm not looking to move um, careers anytime soon. Um, so I figured I'd start the YouTube channel which if you saw my last video I planned to start last year and it just it didn't happen for me but this year we're getting serious with all of our goals um, so um, 
also I made all of my own envelopes and I figured I have a lot of supplies left so I would try um, to make an Etsy store and maybe sell some more envelopes or um, some other items that I'm interested in trying to make. Um, so I'll also link those in the description boxes with um, upcoming videos as I you know, get an Etsy shop and everything set up. Um, my next goal is to start cash envelopes, which today, um, I just got paid on the 13th. Today is Sunday morning. I had a few hiccups with the finances. I miscounted something, miscounted something somewhere. So, um, my numbers on my sheet do not match what's in my wallet. Plus I did have, I did make a purchase, so it doesn't quite match. So we're just going to stuff with what we have. <laughs> um, but all of my envelopes are empty. So we are starting brand new. Um, this year, um, I do have like a hefty book collection that has I've already filled up all of my bookshelves so I wanted to buy two more bookshelves from Ikea our current ones are from Ikea so I want to buy two more to match and just kind of um, make kind of like a library um, in our living room um, we also need a dresser for our bedroom I don't currently have like a traditional dresser I have one that used to be my grandparents it's pretty old it's a little raggedy but i mean i love it it's an antique piece but the way that it I'm, i'll probably show it in a video because i need to like strip it repaint it um it's falling apart in some areas so maybe i'll do a craft project on it and try to strip off the old paint um, and fix it up because I do want to keep it. It's a really cool piece. Um, it's just not functional for what I need to store in our bedroom with our clothes. Um, complete no spend challenges. Um, I don't know how I want to figure this out yet. My goal was a whole January, just no spending. That didn't work out. I think I'm gonna have to do like no spend days. Um, in the week and then see how that works out um, because we did have um, some things come up. Um, I did pretty well the first week. I didn't eat out at all the first week and I just tried eating everything out of the freezer that like we forgot about. Um, it was okay and then not okay because um, you know the further I dove deeper into the freezer the more freezer burnt things were and the more upset my stomach became because so um but on Monday I am starting um my weight loss journey so I will not be eating the things out of the freezer um any longer because I'm I'm actually seeking professional assistance with weight loss and I'll have a coach um, and they're going to tell me exactly what to eat. And I'm pretty sure that does not include the chicken fingers in the bottom of the freezer. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to allow purchases, um, for weight loss. Um, I don't want to go crazy. Like I, I'm not going to do a gym membership, but I did get a gift card for yoga. So I already attended two yoga classes, um, in 2023. Um, and I think I have three classes left on the gift card. So I do want to put money aside um, just for yoga classes. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, so that's going to be my gym alternative. Plus I have a treadmill here at the house um, and like a little wagon of other exercise equipment. Um, I'm not big into exercising at this time. Again, I have a fair amount of weight loss to lose, but I'll do a separate video on that if you guys are interested in, um, like my weight loss journey, I guess. Um, cause again, my channel is more about figuring out all aspects of my life. So, um, but my finances and my weight um, and health are kind of like the two biggest right now. So I figured I'd focus on those for right now. Um, 
start an eat out budget. Um, I kind of did that with an, like an outings envelope, um, which would be used for um, any time I go out. So um, I also, because I got married in, when did I get married? I got married a year and a half ago don't remember the year right now. <laughs> um, I still have not changed my legal name on all of my financial accounts. So I've been trying to do that, but some of my accounts are over like the credit limit, so they won't touch my account until I pay those off. Um, hopefully now all of them will be, because I just paid off all of my um, accounts all of my bills um, before I pulled out cash so um, that's the other thing that I'm gonna work on um, so then the next section everything is organized by month um, and then towards the back I do have um, my savings challenges, sinking funds, debt trackers, and just miscellaneous. I might just keep like empty sheets or something back there because it's empty right now. Um, these papers back here um, were pulled out of my old budget tracker that I tried using like last year. Um, I didn't like the setup of it. So this time I went on to Etsy and I found printable sheets that I thought would work better for me and my goals. So we're going to start with that. Um, so my 2023 goals for January, um, no spend challenge. Again, my, let me do that. No spend challenge. Um, again, I thought that I was just going to go all of January, not spending a single dime on anything that did not work. Um, so I think I'm going to go through my calendar and pick days of the week where I'm like, I don't want to spend anything, um, on those days. Um, start a budget binder, done. Um, start my cash envelope system. Um, I have it all prepared, so done. Start YouTube cash envelope video. Um, currently doing that, so I guess done. Um, don't go in the red. Um, so I'm trying not to spend on my credit cards. Um, I want to use, if I have the cash for it, then I can spend it, of course, at this point because I don't have anything in savings. I, I don't have anything in savings at all. I don't have, um, um, I do, I'm trying to save up for my emergency fund. So until that is set, um... If I need to use a card for something, then I will. Um, but my goal is to try to not to. Um, don't miss paying any bills. Um, usually I'm pretty good with this, but every once in a blue moon, like I have so many payments coming in and out. Um, some Sometimes something gets missed. Um, sometimes during the payment process, I, I forget to click like, you know, that third screen that says confirm payment. Um, so, I mean, it does happen, so I'm just trying to be really vigilant about paying everything on time, um, starting my weight loss journey. I did already have a meeting last week with, um, the weight loss center. I go back on Monday and they're going to do, um, like my weight, um, you know, all the measurements, photos, um, they're going to look at like my entire health history and then they're going to come up with the meal plan and everything for me. Um, so I guess I'm going to start that either Monday night or Tuesday morning. Um, I did calculate it out and doing this, I'm paying mostly out of pocket, pocket for it. So, um, I will have a separate envelope for that and how much it's going to cost. Um, start yoga classes. I did that. Um, I need to cancel the auto pay on my Navient. Um, I used to have auto pay set up for all of my bills and I found that it, it just didn't work because I would forget that bills would come out and they don't come out on the actual day. Um, 
so I would think there would be money in my account that just wasn't actually in my account um, and then I would over withdraw my account and then have to pay the 30 40 dollar fees um, for the over withdrawal and I so uh, Navient does give a um, that's my student loan it does give like a percentage off your interest if you have the auto pay but I'm like I, I'd rather just pay it on paydays and not have to worry about did it come out of my account yet because I'm not the best at keeping track of it um, I also need to cancel the auto pay on my personal loan. I took out a personal loan years ago to pay off credit card debt, um, but of, then again, I didn't cancel the card, so um, all of that, I spent all of it again. So now we're back in the same boat and I have a personal loan to pay off. Um, and then my other one is post unwanted items on eBay. So I started doing that. I went through my closet and picked out a lot of the clothes that either just aren't my style and I don't reach for every day or um, they don't fit me. Um, so I'm just trying to sell whatever I can out of my closet. Cause I mean, I do have a lot and I figured as I'm losing weight, there's gonna be a lot of clothes that just hopefully won't fit me anymore and I can just, you know, um, post those for hopefully someone else to enjoy. So, let me go here, Oop, wrong way. So this is my monthly bill tracker. Um, here I have it set up so all of my bills are in order. These are not like my typical expenses. These are my actual bills that I have to pay. These are the credit cards, the subscriptions, um, credit card bills, um, loan payments, my cars in here, phone bill. Um, I went a little crazy with the Affirm um, credit lines. Um, I really like them a lot. Um, but then, you know, they kept giving me more available to spend. So now I have all these little tiny payments. Most of them are for a firm. Um, and then I do have like one Klarna. Um, most of that again was from Christmas. Um, and then So going forward, I want to have a separate savings account for Christmas expenses so I don't do this again. Um, so then I went through, I have the amount, the due date. Um, I didn't write the totals on here, um, but then the notes over here for all of the Klarna um, are the last payments. So that is the date that the last payment is expected. So hopefully I can pay off some of these a little sooner. Um, all the ones in highlighted in blue are the ones that are, um, the last payments are due within the next couple of months. So my goal is to also try to pay the, those off a little bit sooner. Um, and then here I have it highlighted by which bills are have due dates by paycheck because again, I'm paid bi-weekly. Um, so all of these in the orange color were paid with my last check of 2022 um, because that I got paid, I think December 30th. So all of these were paid with that check from December 30th. Um, all these ones in purple, cause I messed up somewhere where I forgot that I get two checks in January once the very end of January. Um, so I thought I was paying all of these bills with the check that I just got and that's not the case. Um, so um, the ones in purple are the ones that I just paid. Um, I did end up canceling a few subscriptions because I haven't been using them lately. Um, most of them are like 
I canceled my Kindle Unlimited, so I don't have to pay that $10 this month. Um, and then I also canceled my, um, my Audible subscription because I do have a few books that I can buy that I just haven't yet, and I haven't been listening to books lately. Um, but I'll talk more about that in a while. Um, but that's $25 that I'm not going to be spending until I'm ready to actually sign back up for those. Um, so then the last three bills will be paid with my January 27th paycheck. Um, but I really like this because then I can just go down the list and check everything off, which speaking of, the crunchy roll just came out of my account. Um, so here we have the monthly budget planner. Let me zoom that in a little bit. Um, so again, I colored these all the wrong way. Um, but here I'll put my income in. So my check um, for my first check for the 13th, um, I typically get two different checks. So one is my normal paycheck, um, and then the other is a gas mileage um, reimbursement. Um, and then I have my fixed expenses, so the ones that don't change. So I already paid Audible for this month, but I'm not going to be paying it coming up in February. Um, my savings, I want to have at least an emergency and vacation fund. Um, right now there is nothing in either of them. Um, and then down here, I need to fix this, um, because they both say fixed expenses. This one's supposed to be fixed. This one should be variable. Um, so gas, I'm going to try to put 110 in. I think I'm going to start off with a a um, hundred per month and see how that goes but I know gas has been um, fluctuating a lot lately um, yoga right now I don't have anything budgeted for it because I am still using classes off the gift card and diet mentor um, I'm budgeting two hundred dollars um, because that's going to cost me about a hundred dollars per week um, but I do also get um, food included in that. So we'll see how that works out. Again, there might be a lot of changes and finagling the next couple months while I figure out what's going to work for me and what won't. Um, and then over here we have all of our debt um, and then the total monthly payment. Um, and then at the bottom here, let me zoom out. Um, we have all your totals um so that's by month again i don't know if this sheet's really going to work for me um i think i just want to see like per two paychecks because i get paid bi-weekly a lot of the checks roll into the next month so i feel like it's not the most accurate um counter for what i'm really looking at um but here's the by weekly budget so this one will be per paycheck um, so this is what I was looking at for this month um, I messed up somewhere and miscalculated like here um, I thought I was paying 376 76 for my firm totals um, so I budgeted for that um, turns out I actually only had to pay 237 so that's like $140 off that I just thought I was spending on a firm this month and I was was not so um, so again I have my paycheck um, I have my mileage so my total was 1708 and 95 cents um, my bills 
Um, this month I have to pay Verizon, which is my phone. Um, so I put $75 into our joint account um, to cover half of the phone expense. Um, General Motors is my lease payment. Um, again, leasing, I found out was a, a mistake. So I think at the end of the lease, I'm gonna buy out this car because I really like this car. Um, and hopefully I can lower the monthly expense and then just pay more on it when I have the money to pay more on it. Um, I can't remember. I think my lease might be coming up due this year. So I do want to put in a savings card for like a car down payment. So if I refinance the car, then I can put down um, maybe a, a little bit of money um, to keep my monthly payments down. Um, but we'll see how that works out because I've never bought out a car at the end of the lease and I've been leasing cars since I graduated college in 2013. So um, I've always had a car payment and they keep getting more and more expensive because my credit score is worse and worse. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to fix that and at some point I would like to just own out a car and not have to pay um, a car note. Um, so down here um, it said after I paid everything, um, which I paid everything out of my bank account and then withdrew um, the remaining cash. It said I had to take out $406 um, that was left over. Um, there was an extra 140 in there and I did end up spending like $12 and change on drinks for dinner. So my husband bought dinner and then I bought the beverages um, for last night. So um, it, it's a little lower, but I'm just gonna count what I do have and then we're just gonna go from there. Um, I already also spent money um, for gas. I had to get gas the morning of the 13th. Um, so I put, I believe $35 in my tank. So gas is only going to get 15 stuffed in the envelope today. Um, and then grocery and diet mentor. Um, I actually owe them $299 on Monday. Um, however, my insurance covers the initial payment. Um, they just won't cover the week to week because the week to week comes with groceries. Um, so that's $357.99 um, for the actual. Um, but my crunchy roll, I'm not going to have taken out of my bank account. I'm going to have that taken from one of the cards that I paid off. Because um, I do still want to use the cards for rewards points. But I want to keep one card that I use on an actual basis. So I'm going to pick a single card um, that I'm going to work on paying off. And then just use that for um, my day-to-day -day expenses. And and then just completely pay it off every month um, while I'm still paying off the rest of them. Um, so my M&T, which is my bank credit card, um, was over withdrawn. Usually that payment's a hundred. Um, again, I always forget about the interest payment, so then the interest puts me over the credit limit. Um, I have a PayPal credit um, that's eighty dollars a month. Um, I don't know if I want to keep the PayPal credit after it's paid off or not. Um, I feel like it can be, because if I can pay it off within the six months, there's no interest, um, which is nice, but also it's that one account that I forget about because I don't have a physical card for it. So it just, you know, sits there on the internet and I completely forget about it. Um, Capital One, I have two Capital One cards. I have a Journey card, which was my first ever credit card that I got in college. Um, I do like it, um, but I I also thought that, you know, I would upgrade from a Journey to a different card because the Journey credit card is, again, for college students trying to build up their credit. So I thought they would just kind of replace that account with another when I requested a new card. So I ended up with a Quicksilver card, um, but I then ended up with a Journey and a Quicksilver um, because I don't really like the points with the Journey cards. So I'm like, oh, the Quicksilver gives a little bit more cash back. Um, but now I have two Capital One cards and I don't need to. And the Quicksilver Capital One card has 
um, a really high interest rate. It's almost like 30%. So that one's got to go. <laughs> um, and the um, 0% interest for the year just expired on that. So I want to pay it off and get rid of it. Um, Chase, which is my Amazon card. Um, I also want to, that's one of the first ones I also want to pay off. I think I might want to use the Chase card as my day-to-day -day card. And then I want to start um, transferring balances to my M&T credit card because that has the lowest interest rate. So um, we're going to finagle with that a little bit. Um, and then here are my totals at the bottom. Um, but again, I miscalculated something, so these numbers aren't exactly correct. Um, and then here's the sheet for the next paycheck. So um, I'll probably fill this in ne the next pay payday, and we'll do that together. Um, and I'll pull out cash, or you know, I might have to, maybe I'll do this as next week's video and then we'll do a cash stuffing for the week following because this has to be done before I can pull out cash. So, um, and again, I, I have this set up for every single um, month this year. Um, and then I do have some savings challenges here. So I do have a weight loss savings challenge where I plan on putting um, $10 per pound loss into, um, a savings account to help to buy new clothes because I don't really have a lot of clothes for my smaller sizes. I have like a few pieces that are like my goal pieces. Um, but I have, I won't have any day-to-day -day clothes that'll fit me, um, by the time I lose the amount of weight that I need to lose. So, um, I am actually down weight this week, so I'm hoping that I have some money that I can throw in here. And I don't have like as I lose the weight I'm thinking I don't have to put in I'll just put in what I can um and make a note of how much I still owe the challenge um I do like to read a lot I haven't really gotten back into it so far this year I've started one book and my goal was to read 100 books this year um so I figured five dollars per book I'll put into here and I can use that for like more books book accessories um bookshelves etc um so I'll color a book in and put five dollars into my books envelope um or I'll make a savings envelope for it um, because by the end I should save like $315. Um, and then I do have a 52 envelope challenge. Um, so that should add up to $1,378 by the end of the year. Um, I do have an emergency fund tracker. Um, and then I, for my sinking funds, um, we are going to PAX East, um, which is like a gaming convention. Um, we're doing that in March, so I wanna save up some money to go on that trip. Um, and then my husband wants to go to Universal or Disney next year, um, cause we didn't do a honeymoon. So we're still trying to plan a trip to do that. And I figured we could probably do it around, um, my birthday, which my birthday is also in January. So, um, we might do that next year, um, depending on the funds. Um, this is going to be where my, um, weight loss challenge money goes into um, wardrobe or clothing. Um, the Orlando vacation, I already have another one for that. So that one's going to go. Um, car down payment. Um, so that's what I'm going to save up for when I buy out my lease. Um, and then I want to buy a fire safe. Um, so I want about $400 set aside for that. Um, cause we have like the little fire boxes, but they don't hold a lot. And I don't like folding up a lot of my important documents, um, to squeeze in there because, um, they kind of get ruined. So, um, with that. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my budgeting binder walkthrough. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here and move on to part two where I walk through um, my cash envelope um, binders. 
and um, I hope to see you in part two for that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if um, you want to see more. Thanks. Bye.